Hello, I'm Mike Wilty. I'm the Chief Scientific Officer of Laureate Biopharma in Princeton, New Jersey. So Laureate has been right there with single use since uh, the beginnings of the earliest use with shake flask and bags and tubing to now the more modern use of uh, bioreactors, of uh, membrane absorbers on the downstream side, of a specialty kind of hybrid type of systems as well. One of the trends that we've seen in working with the biopharmaceuticals is increasing productivity as cells are better understood in terms of what they need to grow, what they need to produce well, why certain cells produce a protein and certain ones don't. We've seen titers, the, how much you get in a bioreactor go up from when I began in the teens, you know, 10, 20 milligrams per liter up to uh, 1,000 milligrams or a gram per liter up to multiple grams per liter, 5, 10 grams per liter. So this means you get a lot, a lot more out of the same tank. The understanding of the proteins is enormously improved since uh, the Human Genome Project and sort of sequenced, you know, what our bodies are making and what sort of new targets are they for therapeutic medications. And then the whole element of biopharmaceuticals, recombinant proteins that, you know, are, are relatively new in the span of medicine. Now we know that we can make a protein in a production cell that's very selective, real low side effects, will go specifically to a certain site in the body. And, you know, in the bioprocessing area, which I am in, uh, we've seen a lot of advances in how to produce those proteins and how to purify them and how to understand what is a concern and what is not. I think in three to five years, we'll first have even better compatibility of the single use materials as this is a specialized application for growing cells or storing proteins or storing culture media that cells are going to grow in. And you know, as previously these plastic films were for other applications. Now people understand that certain uh, chemicals can leach out of them that can, can harm your product or harm yourself.